What's up there guys, this is Cobb, and welcome to a video that I've been wanting to do for a while, uh, or rather a style of video that I've been wanting to do for a while, um, and this is a comments answering video. Sorry if my voice is a little bit fucked up still, by the way, I'm, I'm still feeling a little bit rough from the man flu, um, it's a terrible illness. But yeah, I mentioned just, uh, just a while back in the latest Iron Man episode um, that I wanted to get back to answering comments more often. Um, and I have been doing that. I've been I've been typing up responses and and replying where I can and stuff and getting getting caught up on like the Facebook messages on the Facebook page and all that kind of stuff. But I guess I want to take it one step further than that um, and start making videos like this one where I go over specific comments and pick out a few during the week. I've been answering comments, but I've also been kind of saving some of them and I've been saving them for this video specifically. Um, so we're gonna answer them here. Not sure how much you guys are gonna enjoy this style of video. I know it's a little bit different for us. Um, but yeah, I think that I'm going to enjoy it. Hopefully some of you guys will enjoy it too. And maybe you can become like a weekly thing or something. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, let's get into the first question. So first up we have Bam Bo Bam. How many deaths do you have in your character, Corb? Great montage, by the way. I want to play Warlock now. It's not something I can remember off the top of my head. So just, just let me armory this for a moment for you there, Mr. Bam. Checking. Alright, I have died 11,392 times. Quite a lot of deaths, isn't it? So about 11k times. I've died quite often, it seems. I mean, let's be honest, 10,000 of those 11,000 deaths at least probably came during TBC. But no, seriously, I wish I could actually check how many times I've died. Like, from expansion to expansion. And just fucking lol at how, how low the number will be in Worlds of Draenor. Mainly because I haven't played as much. Sure, that's a factor as well, but... We are, we are like survival gods in wads, so hey. But there you go, about 11k. Next up we have a question from Bundiv Plays. Oh, well, it's not really a question. Um, you know someone's a good actor when they can make you feel powerful emotions. You know Cobb is amazing at what he does, whether it be entertaining with skill or editing, with magical unicorn powers. His stuff makes you feel like WoW is not in a bad place. Um, it's, or rather, his stuff makes you feel like WoW is not in the bad place it's in, especially for his Destros. And above all else, it makes me want to play so bad. Keep on Cobb P.S. Darkest Dungeon stream? Oh man. Reading comments like this one is so fucking awesome. Um, I, I don't know what else really to say about it. It's these kind of comments that I started making videos for. Um, to hear that to hear that I've inspired you, Bundif, um, and anybody else out there. It's just the craziest thing to hear, you know. When you make a montage and people leave comments like that. I mean, it's what you made the montage for, you know. If you're motivating people to play and... and and people are playing and PvPing and stuff with like the music that you use in your videos in the background and they're, and they're getting hyped about it and stuff. Uh, then you've achieved what you set out to do essentially with the montage. So that's fucking awesome to read, man. Thank you so much. Also, Darkest Dungeon stream. I mentioned this a couple of times, but unfortunately, Darkest Dungeon just didn't... It just didn't take off that well here on YouTube, which is where I really wanted it to take off. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be streaming it. Um, it didn't seem to be a game that grabbed enough of you guys um, and really held your attention. Uh, something like the Iron Man videos, for example, get we're starting to get like two or three, sometimes four times as many views um, on a weekly basis as the Darkest Dungeon episodes we're getting. It's a shame. I really, really enjoyed Darkest Dungeon. It was a fucking awesome game. Uh, it kind of felt like a dungeon crawler Iron Man in that when like your characters died and they just stayed dead and and it was hard and you could just randomly get someone one shotted on your team right in the middle of a dungeon. It was really a lot of fun. But yeah, I don't know, I guess the whole turn based combat and stuff like that, maybe it wasn't for a lot of you guys, so I did have to make the decision as a YouTuber and a and a businessman. Um because that's what it comes down to a lot of the time, unfortunately. Uh, to go ahead and drop Dagestin from the channel. And on that matter, I haven't really had time to play it in my spare time either, so I'm afraid Dagest Dungeon is probably gone. And I don't think it's going to be coming back. Sorry. Next up, we have a very, very good question from Gekont. And he says, Gorak, why are you playing with two talent builds? You're the best warlock in the world, except for me. Well, that's probably true. I'm certainly not the best warlock in the world. Um, why am I playing with two talent builds, though? I play one talent build that is Chad Remains. And that one is basically... I mean, let me just check on my builds. So I'm not fucking up here. I've still got the armory open. One moment. So yeah, it is. Um, my Chad Remains build is basically a standard kind of arena build. Uh, we're going with Shadow Fury, we're going with Blood Horror, Grimoire of Sacrifice. My Chad Remains spec is like my viable spec. Uh, if I just want to live Lord and I just want to win in the battlegrounds and stuff like that, I play my Chad Remains spec. But when it comes to recording, yeah, when it comes to recording, uh, I play with Demonic Servitude and Grimoire of Service. Um, and that is purely because having up two demons like that, it, it gives you so much damage that you don't need to be casting to land, if you know what I mean. I guess I'll have a screenshot, like, up here at the side or something during the video. So just to quickly explain the spec, um, first and foremost, this spec is so much more fucking fun to play and to watch in videos, in my opinion. 
uh, than Chowder main specs ever will be, which are just tedious and boring and shit, and you need to be fight like, 2v1ing people. Like, in my latest montage, I was 2v1ing a Disciplined Priest and a Feral Druid in Brill. If you didn't see our latest montage, you have to go watch it. A lot of you guys really seem to enjoy it, so, hey, if you missed it, it's there. But I was playing Chad Remains against this Disc Priest and this Feral Druid in Brill. Um, I cut that scene down to around a minute, minute and a half or something in the video. That fight actually went on for about five or six minutes, right? I tried to kill the Feral Druid about seven times. I'm not even fucking kidding. It was only later on, eventually, I just survived for so long and tanked the fuck out of them for so long that I eventually saw that the priest had spent his trinket and his um, pain suppression. So I was like, fuck this. I'm gonna fucking pop everything on this priest. I dropped my infernal and whatever. Managed to get the kill. Uh, we managed to get the clip out of it. But the problem is, is that the fight went on for like five or six minutes. Um, and if a fight goes on for that long, not only is it boring and it makes it more of a pain in the ass to edit, um, but it also gives other horde players and other alliance players in battlegrounds especially to come in and fucking interrupt the fight and ruin the clip, you know what I mean? But on the other hand, this other spec that we're using, the Demonic Servitude spec, uh, it's not as good as the Child Remain spec, but the fights are quick, um, you have more sustained DPS, and you're never, almost never, spending embers on actually healing. So that explains my first talent choice, by the way. Dark Regeneration, we're actually using that just because I never ever want to be spending embers on healing. Uh, it's all about just fucking going for Chaos Bolts and just spamming damage with the spec and trying to kill someone as quick as possible. And that's probably part of what makes it more fun to watch as well. Um, you can see Shadow Fury, we've got Soul Link, uh, Blood Horror a little bit further down just for more CC. Then we actually combine Demo uh, Demonic Servitude and Grimoire of Service. Why do we do that? Because every two minutes then, we can summon a second Doom Guard, and that's really, really good. I think it only hits like 20% less or something than your main Doom Guard, so it does quite a bit of damage to be honest. Uh, if you go into a fight with Dark Regen ready, Unending Resolve ready, your Hellstone, Service, Dark Soul, and you get all these cooldowns just ready to pump out. Uh, if you don't have your cooldowns, if you don't have any of those cooldowns ready, this spec is fucking shit. It's terrible. The key with this spec is to is to doctor the fights as much as possible, and just uh, only ever fight people. I like if any of my cooldowns are you know aren't ready. Like if I don't have Grimoire of Service ready to use, or if I don't have um, Unending Resolve ready to use, or whatever, uh, I'll just avoid fights completely with this. But as soon as everything is ready. That's it, man. I go, I go to Lumber Mill, or I go to Stables, um, or I try and pick a 2v1 on, on a road in between bases in Arathi, or whatever. Something like that, you know? That's my reasoning behind this spec. That's why I have two talent specs. One of them is just a lot more fun, a lot better for recording. You gotta do what you gotta do for the montages, I guess. I love editing them way too much um, to give in and just... I, I, I don't know what I'd do. If I, if I could only play Chad Remains, that would be like the most depressing shit ever. Next up we have I'm a Vendor 1234 and he says, I'd say everyone here Cobb, uh, came because of your WoW videos and your montages, but now people are here uh, because of you and all the content you're putting out. Iron Man is a great series, I'm glad you like that man. Um, and I don't know about other people, but I can feel the intensity in those ass nipping moments. Also really dig the Hearthstone videos as well. So that's awesome to read man. Um, I, I suppose I agree as well. Looking at the analytics and which videos get the most views and stuff, I'd say that most of you guys are here uh, because you watched a montage or you search like Destro PvP YOLO or whatever on YouTube and, and my video came up and you watched it and, and you liked what you saw, I hope. But the Iron Man series, I guess, is unique in that it's not, a, it's not even a PvP series and yet so many of you guys are following it and following along with the struggles and the journey and I'm always so, so happy about that and I'm so grateful about that because it felt like such a big risk. Someone who has dedicated the entire channel in the past to PvP videos to be doing a PvE based challenge. I'm on a PvP server, which makes it a bit more like ass nipping, as we've already mentioned. But it is a PvE series, essentially. It's really fucking hard and really challenging. Um, and I get to talk to you guys a lot in it and stuff like that. But um, so yeah, Mr. I am Ben. I'm, I'm glad that you also feel the intensity of it and stuff like that. Because it's it's always a kind of thought I have in the back of my head when I'm recording Iron Man. I'm constantly in a state of almost shitting myself, right? recording them episodes and I kind of feel sometimes like oh god what if what if people watching the videos aren't feeling it you know what if I'm editing them wrong or I'm I always kind of feel like what if I'm not conveying the sense of terror enough and stuff like that what if I'm not um I don't know I just hope that you guys are all feeling it as well and um, it's awesome to read that you are vendor and as for the Hearthstone videos I'm really happy that you're enjoying those as well because again it's more variety the fact that you like those too is fucking sweet I'm planning on trying to have out like I've got a whole new schedule down boys you don't even know what's coming right like as of I think as of next, starting like next week on the Monday going into um, November, if I can get a fucking Overwatch key or get to play the Overwatch beta in any way, 
uh, which I can't right now. I'm so fucking sad about that shit. But, my, but I'm going to be shooting for like six videos a week, guys. I'm going to be going absolutely ham. Problem is, uh, w without Overwatch, I don't think I'll be able to make that goal. It's probably going to be like four videos a week. But yeah, this whole new weekly schedule thing that I've got going, um, one of those weekly videos is hopefully going to be a Hearthstone video. Um, and then right at the end of the day, uh, or the end of the month, rather, um, we're going to have like a push video or something, you know, like half an hour or like a 45 minute video or something of the final push that I'm going to make for Legend at the end of each, uh, at the end of each month. Um, can't get my goddamn words out. It's too early. Well, it's not really. It's like three in the afternoon, but I just woke up. All right. Damn it. It's the YouTuber life, man. Fuck's sake. Sleeping patterns always get absolutely wrecked. Ask any YouTuber, man. Literally, I, I'm thinking that at least 70% of us I just nocturnal at this point. It's ridiculous. Especially because it's winter as well. Like, it's, it's winter time now, so it gets dark in like a couple of hours. I'm gonna see like two hours of daylight, and it's fucking cloudy as hell. Oh my god, it's like Silent Hill up in this. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here, boys and grills. I hope that you all enjoyed watching this one. Um, coming up, we have a new outro. As soon as my face has gone up in here, uh, we're gonna be fading into a brand new outro. It's a lot more simple. Um, it covers a few more games and stuff like that. Didn't take me like a massive amount of time to edit or anything. But yeah, I felt like it was a bit of a time for a change from like a... But the, the old outro was a little bit WoW-centric. This one, this one branches out a little bit more and covers a little bit more stuff. So stay tuned for that. You're going to be blown away, damn it. Anyway, cheers for coming by, everybody. Hope that you enjoyed the vid. And I'm going to catch all you guys a little bit later, I guess. Didn't think I'd be back, would you? Eh? Did you? No, you didn't. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to talk over this new outro a little bit. As you can see, it's a lot more, it's a lot more general. But one of the goals that I had with it um, was to shout out the newest patrons and all that kind of stuff. Because again, it's nice to have like a consistent way to shout out you guys who are really fucking boosting the shit out of the channel um, and essentially making it possible for me to do this as a job. So I'm fucking eternally grateful to all you guys supporting on Patreon. But yeah, anyway, I just want to say a huge thanks to all you guys and um, massive thanks to all the patrons. So yeah, again, cheers for watching everybody. Um, and this time I really will catch all you guys just a little bit later.